to the sixth hole. Difficult par four, dog leg left to right. Good line for Jane Watonanant. His pin's only on the front, and he's found it. What a shot! He's impressive. And 48, it's just the region of a nine iron for them. Should be peppering the flag stick. And indeed, that was a good shot. Beautiful, great putt. Nice work. It's been impressive so far. Jazz Jane, what's on and on? For a birdie at eight and right in the middle. Four under for his round. Maybe he's the man. Difficult hole on the golf course. Ah, lovely ball flight. Took off on line as it held it. Very good. Very good. Right down the stick. Par 5 for the members turned into a par 4 this week. That's very good. Not too quick from there. Super shot. Now, great tee shot from Jane Watananand. 10. This is on the tee for him. He's a big hitter. Lovely flight there. Look at that. Peeling in from left to right towards the green. That's beautiful. Great camera work as well. Yeah, great to see that. I'm enjoying watching him today. He's got, he's got some shots, hasn't he? There, that should secure his birdie. Fifth birdie of the day for the 24 year old Ty, and that takes him to seven under par. Excellent round of golf so far. Now, forward to the difficult 11th hole, 490 yards. Very good. That'll chase up. Oh, it didn't. Yeah, I think it would have chased up the green there, that are coming out of that heavy rough. But a good shot there. Another birdie chance here for Jazz Jane Norton and on. This one at 11. Oh, there's one of the few <laughs> spectators outside the bubble. He's got a few, few friends as well. They're ready to steal <laughs> his kick out, I think. <laughs> Isn't that a fantastic picture? Isn't it? <laughs> Photograph that somebody quickly. That's brilliant. <laughs> He's totally oblivious to them all being around. It's uh, just like so much, so no much normality to him, isn't it? It needs a caption, doesn't it? A caption competition yeah. for that one. Yes, indeed. They're his favourite friends. Now, forward to 12. This is the one we talked about. No trouble around this flag. Expect the players to be taking dead aim here, but only a short iron. Um, not a great shot there. And it'll be an outside chance for Birdie. He was a little bit of a backstop, as you can see. Slope has actually helped them quite a lot. Half the distance he was. Up to 12, and a Birdie chance here for Jazz Jane or Watson and on. Thirteenth tee, Jazz Jane or Watson and Ont, and Iona Stevens moved to this group. I have, and this is one of the most beautiful holes on the course. The River Main running all down the right-hand side, and like so many of the holes out here, the tee shot's crucial. A good position there from Jane Watson and Ont. One three seven for Jazz Jane Watson and on. He's hit that very high, coming out of a fluffy lie. Jane Watson and on. <laughs> Swinging across from left to right, all the way across this green. Jane Watson and Hunt. Up ahead at 14. Beautiful swing, putting together a lovely round of golf. Seven. It's really getting warm out here now. The sun's got some heat in it. Long. 
That's in good shape. Down that left side, taking the bunker out of play. Not one of the longer par fours. Looks like a wedge in his hand there. Good. Let's go six under for his round. Hottest player on the course. I like this putting style with that shaft up the left forward arm, the, the back of the left hand, very, very strong and rigid. That replicates the face. You can see second hardest hole on the golf course to date. Got to get it past that corner, as I was saying, down the left side is a favourable way in. When just picking up, you can see the tops of the trees just fluttering, hurting at least five yards. That's stuck on the inside, flaring it way out to the right-hand side. That's a, a bad miss for the young man. Since he returned to golf, played a lot of times in America. He played six events and missed the cut in five of them. Third shot at the 16th. A lot of bunker to go over. Got to always accelerate on those shots. Not a lot of green to work with. He's played that very well. Take that every time. Good shot. Now coming off the bogey at 16. Chaz Jane Watton on threw himself at that one. Jane Watton and on second shot to the 17th. Right. Well, he's got a fair bit of green to work with. Not too tough a bunker shot, that really. A little bit down breeze. Deserves an up and down after two good bunker shots. Back to back bogeys, I'm afraid, for the tie. It just looked like he tried to jam it in there. That's looking good for the Aussies, isn't it? With Ancliffe right up the top there. Problems for Jazz Chain or Watteran on. I think he's just pushing it down the fairway and he's not even done that. He has found the rough again. Rather scrappy finish. He was playing absolutely beautiful golf earlier in the day. Oh, that might stick. <laughs> well, there's plenty of things that might stick, I can assure you. Let's just have a look at the third shot here of Jane Watton and Ond. And the 18. He had 170 into here and he's given himself a good chance of birdie. Would be nice to finish after the bogey bogey last two holes. Uphill, touch of right to left. Go on, then. It, he's done it. He wasn't so sure. I think he thought he'd pushed that, but. but Pace just fell nicely for him. Yeah, that could be a big putt that going into tomorrow. Moves him to minus six, two behind now. Jazz, third round 66, nicer, calmer conditions. How do you find out there today? Yeah, I guess similar to home, I guess. As close as it can be, just 20 degrees colder. But um, yeah, play really good and enjoy the nice weather. You've come into this uh, Divine Duty Free Irish Open on the back of some pretty tough tournaments. Two, the last two you played were majors, obviously. Yeah. Wingfoot was pretty tough. How do you feel your game is given the kind of challenges you've had to, to, to face recently? I mean, US Open was just something else. I never played any golf course as tough before. It just almost put things in perspective of like what the golf course can be and what, how lucky we are to play a golf course like this. For all the success we've seen in your professional career, the amount of wins you've had, it's quite surprising we haven't seen one on the European tour. Do you feel like it's quite close for you now? I mean, I grew up in a really hot country and European tour mainly play in a really cold country. So it's going to be a stepping stone for me for sure coming here. And uh, I feel like it's, it's very good for my golf. You would have been very happy, obviously, with the birdie on yep. the team. What do you think you need to do tomorrow? Just uh, hope the weather stay calm and hot. <laughs> to watch another European tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.